Hello once again, I'm Extra Life. Today we're just going to do a quick video on how to calibrate the pitch output on the Super 16. I've got a little sequence here, and if we listen to it, just jumping around on octaves... And if you've got a good ear, you may be able to tell that the higher octaves are a little bit out of tune with the lower ones. Uh, and that's pretty common. So if you're playing around with the Super 16, you've just built it, or you're finding that you're playing with it and it doesn't seem to be always in tune, what you need to do is calibrate the output. And it's really straightforward to do. All you do is you press Shift-14. Now we've entered Calibrate mode, and we can use these buttons all the way up from 1 to 9 to choose different exact pitches. And I don't have anything crazy going on here. I've just got the pitch output going into the input 1 volts per octave of my Music from Outer Space analog VCO. Got the gate output, which as you can see in calibrate mode is always on, uh, going into the uh, envelope that I'm using, the gate trigger for it. Uh, we can now hear all of these exact pitches, if I turn the volume up, and then calibrate them using the encoder so we can make this octave flat or sharp. Now, if you've got perfect pitch, of course, you can just do this by ear, so these sound like they're a bit sharp to me. You can bring them down, and that already sounds better. But of course, the better way to do it is to use a tool. And so I've got the output of the synthesizer hooked up to this tuner. So the first thing to do is to tune the oscillator so that at the lowest note here, it's at least high enough that the tuner can pick up a note from it. And you may find that using different waveforms, like a sine wave, makes that a little bit easier. So I'll just choose a sine wave here, and then I'll use the fine tune to get it exactly in tune somewhere. So this is an F sharp, or actually an F, and now we're exactly in tune at this lowest octave. So now we just step up an octave. We're still in tune. Now we're a little bit sharp, so we dial it down. And just keep going all the way up. And I'm going to turn the volume down on this uh, in post so that you don't have to hear this really high-pitched oscillator. I actually had to uh, tune the oscillator down a little bit so that it worked at the higher pitches. But now you can hear that all of these octaves are in pretty good tune with each other, and maybe we're drifting a, a few cents sharp in the higher octaves. All right. So now our oscillator plays in tune across the entire pitch range of the Super 16's output. So now this is very important. Once we're done with that, we press save, and we go back to sequence mode, and those calibration values are stored in the E squared prom, meaning they'll stay with the sequencer even if it gets turned off. And we can press play and hear our sequence again. And all our octaves are in tune. And that should mean that the voltage output of this is now calibrated to one volt per octave. But of course, that's only as good as the calibration of the oscillator itself. If you want to use it with lots of different oscillators, you may want to actually tune it using a multimeter instead. However, if you're always going to be playing it with the same oscillator, same system, then go ahead and just use the tuner because it's going to give you a more accurate result. You know, your calibration on the oscillator might not be perfect in the higher end, and you can kind of compensate for that with the Super 16's calibration. But now I will show you how straightforward it is to do with a multimeter. And so all we're going to do is take this pitch cable, disconnect it from our oscillator, uh, and we could plug it into a multiple so that we could actually hear what we're doing at the same time. But I'll just turn this on and put it in volts mode. So now I've got uh, probes with alligator clips hooked up. If you've got regular multimeter probes, then you can use uh, alligator clips from one to the other. That's fine. And we'll take the black probe and we'll clip it onto the ring of the pitch output and the red probe and clip it onto the tip. So again, that's black on the ring, red on the tip. And now if we go into calibrate mode, you can see we're getting a number of volts. At the bottom, we'll just leave it zero because we can't go any lower than the lowest of the output. And then here, we should be getting exactly one volt. So that's a couple millivolts shy. That's really almost close to bang on. And then we just kind of repeat the process that we did before. And of course, we might get a slightly different result depending on calibration of the oscillator and how well that was tuned, how long it's been since we've touched it. 
so on and so forth. But you can see it's a very similar process. All we're trying to do is dial it in to an exact number, which is 1 volt, 2 volts, 3 volts, or 4 volts, depending on where we are in the octave spectrum. And so there we go. We're almost bang on on the full range of the output. We get 1 volt, 2 volts, 3 volts, 4 volts, 5, 6, 7, hmm, could push that up a little bit, and 8. So now this oscillator again is calibrated. We hit save to save that calibration data. And that'll be slightly different from the tuning that we got with the oscillator just because the oscillator itself is calibrated slightly differently. But if your oscillators are calibrated perfectly or you've got multiple oscillators and you want to get the best result across lots of them, this is a sort of straightforward way to get the best result possible. So that is calibrating the Super 16. I hope you can see that it's very straightforward, not difficult to do. Just give it a try and you'll be playing in tune in no time. So thanks for watching. Happy sequencing, happy soldering, happy tuning. Practice and enjoy.